Now, God, you fix sickness. God, that you heal the brokenhearted. God, that you save the sin sick soul. God, keep us and deliver us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I see we got a little drizzle. I think I can. Brother Greg, you want to come and grab this? And I'm going to go ahead and just, we're going to move on into the word of prayer. I mean, move on into the, the word itself and get on out of here, all right? And we're going to do communion after this. Thank you there, Brother Greg. There's a word that reads on this wise. If you would, turn with me to Matthew, the 28th chapter. The first through the eighth verse. Reads on this wise, after the Sabbath, at the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the woman, do not be afraid for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, he is risen just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly, tell his disciples, he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to the disciples. And suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers. To go to Galilee where they will see me. For the time that I have, I'll put a tag on this text. Walk this way. Walk this way. As we come to this time of Resurrection Sunday, we come at a time now that we are worshiping the Lord for him dying and rising and raising again for our sins. Beloved, we understand that God is not just God by himself. God is God all by himself. Not just by himself, but all by himself. Because understand, he sent his only begotten son to die for us. But the gospel of Matthew presents Jesus doing a post-resurrection appearance where, where Jesus met with the disciples and he had met with Mary. And at this particular point, everything is going around going crazy. They're wondering why is it that I came to the tomb and there's no Jesus at the tomb. I came to the tomb where they told me he was but he's not there I don't understand I need somebody to break it down for me I need somebody to help me understand but then there was Jesus who met the woman and told the woman don't be afraid don't be afraid but but look look look, look. In, in this in this when you when you're gonna walk this way there's one thing that you must know you must stop before you walk at the Sabbath at the dawn of the first day Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look to the tomb. The two ladies woke up early to scurry to the tomb to see Jesus since they were waiting a few days to see the risen Savior. They understood that Jesus was going to get up from the grave. They just didn't know when. So they had to take a moment to stop. Before you go do anything, you must understand, you must stop to get instruction. You must stop to understand what's going on. You must stop to know what God is doing in your life. But understand, beloved, they, they came to see, to pay homage, to pay respect to Jesus because they did see the tomb was sealed up and they did see the guards. But understand, they took a moment to stop. But then now, if you're going to walk this way, after you stop, you got to look. You got to look. There was a violent earthquake for an angel of the Lord came from heaven and he was going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on him. His appearance was like lightning. His clothes was white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. Beloved, the reality is what you're looking for, you don't always see. What you're looking for, you don't always see. When you get to a place in life, you start looking at things, but when you look at it, they all start to change the more you look at it. Amen, church. Amen. What we look at here is that the angel looked at the woman, and, and as the women looked at the tomb, I, I believe parenthetically that the angel that, set, that was at the tomb said to the women, don't be disappointed, even though we're afraid. 
Don't be disappointed, although we are afraid. Just, 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 just keep looking. Just keep looking. When, when, when you look to the hills who is coming your help, you know your help is coming from the Lord. But, but now we understand something so that the ladies were not disappointed because Jesus was not there after they rolled the stone away. The angel was dressed in their white for purity and their white for purpose and their white for promise. The guards were shook, sure, but they were scared because they did not know what was going on. Now understand, the women looked. And they were trying to they were trying to console the women, but they were afraid. The women understood who Jesus was. The angels did the, the, the guards did not know who he was. But now after you stop, after you look, now you need to listen. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus. Who was crucified? But get this, but he's not here. He has risen. Just as he said, come and see the place where he lay. Beloved, understand that Jesus is not in that borrowed tomb anymore. He's, he's not there anymore. Jesus has got up and he got up with all power in his hand. We understand that when Jesus got up, he understood what was going on. He understood that he was sent there to do what his father had commanded him to do. The angels understood some things that they were dealing with that the gods couldn't understand. The angels understood some things that the woman that came to look for Jesus didn't understand. They understood that Jesus has therefore satisfied what God has sent him to do. Understand that when Jesus broke out of the two, <laughs> I got to break out of here because it's starting to rain. <laughs> But before I break out, I believe Jesus had a breakout moment. He said, hold up. Wait a minute. Don't be afraid. Hold up. Wait a minute. I know you thought you wasn't going to see me. Hold up. Don't be afraid. But I am the rose of Sharon. Hold up. Don't be afraid. I am the bright and morning star. Hold up. Don't be afraid. Because guess what? I ain't in the ball too no more. I'm not sitting there no more because the God that sent me down here has told me that I have done the very best I could. I am the son and who the son has set free is free indeed. I'm so glad that when he broke out of that ball tomb, he broke out with all power in his hands. He was there all night Friday. But early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. He said, be not dismayed, your head be tired. I will take care of you every now and then. You need to thank God that you had a breakout experience. You could walk this way. You could talk this way. You better go. And tell somebody that he hung, he bled, and he died. You better tell somebody as you walk this way, he is your risen Savior. You better tell somebody as you walk this way that he saved you, that he delivered you, that he healed you. You better tell somebody. You better go and tell it on the mountain. Lift up your hands, all ye gates, and be ye lifted up the everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Walk this way. Talk this way. He is my light. I'm your salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Who shall I be afraid? Walk this way. Talk this way. Let them know. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. The shade. The wretch like me. I once was lost. But now I'm found. Was blind. But now I see. Walk it. Talk it. Live it.
<laughs> Above all, we could ask a thing. He got up with all power in his hand. Beloved, we're here because on this Resurrection Sunday, he got up for us. He got up that we would understand what it is to live a full life. We're not no longer prisoners to sin because his blood freed us from that. We were born in sin but shaped in iniquity but we were saved by his blood divine. Blood! What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What? What? Nothing. Oh precious Now, God, that you bless these elements, God. 
that God they they would show replication of your son hanging, bleeding, and dying for us. God bless the bread and bless the drink. God bless those at our home, God, that don't have the communion elements, God, but bless them with what they have, God, that it may give you glory and it may give you honor. God, we thank you. We thank you, God. Move, God, in a miraculous way, God, in this nation right now. God, we implore and incline and call upon your name. God, we can do nothing without you until you come, God. And we believe that you're God. And besides you, God, you are none other. There's none other, God. We know that you can do it. And we thank you in the master's name of Jesus. Amen. You keep on singing on your name. And I'm going to go around and come in that has already been blessed. I'm going to start here and I'm going to work my way down. I know nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Sing it, oh, the blood.
Beloved, this is the common cup. This is the cup of the blood of our Lord and Savior. When they pierced him in his side, this was the blood that came streaming down. When they put those nails in his hands, this is the blood that came streaming down. He says, as often as you do this, you, you show forth my death until I come back again. But the reality here is the blood is what makes you whole. The blood is what covers up all your sins. The blood, the blood of Jesus. Let us drink together. They said when they had had communion, they had sang a hymn and went out into the Mount of Olives. Well, I'm here to tell you that we are in our Mount of Olives. <laughs> and our experience in the Mount of Olives, we can either make it a joyous one or we can make it a traumatic one. Let's make it a joyous one because he got up. He got up. He got up with all power in his hands. Let's give God a hallelujah.